Hi Year 5! Welcome to Tuesday's spelling and handwriting video. I'm here again today to go through our spelling rule for this week, which is silent letters. Well done for remembering. Okay, as always, please grab yourself a pencil or handwriting pen and a piece of paper or something to write on ready for today's lesson. If you have got handwriting paper, then it will be a good idea to get that to you for later on in the lesson if you can. As always, let's have a look at the spelling shed leaderboard to see who are our top spellers in the year band. Let's take a look. And our top spellers are Katie Bow in 5P. You're in 10th place in the whole school, Katie Bow. Well done. George in 5P. Bryn in 5W and AJ in 5E. I'm awarding you each a dojo point for enjoyment as I can see just how hard you've been working and also how much you're enjoying practicing your spellings using Spelling Shed. Your scores are fantastic and it's really, really impressive to see that you're the top four scorers in Year 5. So well done to all of you. I wonder Year 5 if the leaderboard will change much this week. We'll have to wait and see. In today's lesson, we are going to recap the rule and learn a spelling strategy. So, before we remind ourselves of what the rule is, can you remember it? Have a look at the words below. Perhaps saying the words aloud will help you. Pause the video now and see if you can remember our spelling rule for this week. Welcome back. Did you figure it out? Well done, that's right. Our spelling rule this week is to investigate silent letters at the start of a word. Silent letters are letters within a word which cannot be predicted by its pronunciation. Pronunciation means when it is said how we say a word. There are lots of words in the English language that have silent letters. These can be at the beginning, like the words we're looking at, in the middle, or at the end. So, which letter can we not hear in each of these words? You can pause the video now if you like and sound them out just like I did in yesterday's lesson. Which letter can we not hear? Welcome back. Did you figure it out? That's right. It's the K in night and the W in writer. The K becomes a silent letter if it comes before an N. That's the rule for the silent K. That means we can't hear the letter K when we say the word. Night, knuckle, knowledge, knife. A W becomes a silent letter if it comes before the letter R in a word. So that means we can't hear the letter W when we say the word writer, wreckage, wrestler, wrinkle, wreath. They all sound as if they start with an R. Okay, what I'd like you to do now, Year 5, is to pause the video and copy down your spellings if you haven't already. Got them? Fantastic. Okay, now that you've got them copied down, what I'd like you to do is have a go at doing this to practice your spellings. So you could say the word, shout the word, clap the syllables in the word, jump the word, or whisper the word. So it's my turn, I'll have a go first. I'll do the word knuckle. I'm going to say it, knuckle. I'm going to shout it, knuckle! I'm going to clap it, knuckle. I'm going to jump it, so I would jump two jumps because there are two syllables. Knuckle. And I'm going to whisper it. Knuckle. Now it's your turn. Pause the video and have a go at doing that for each of your um, words from your spelling list. Welcome back. How did you get on? That's brilliant to hear. I'm so glad you enjoyed that. I do hope you got really active while you were jumping the different syllables of the words. Okay, here's a spelling strategy that we're going to have a look at today. Our spelling strategy is spelling boxes. What you have to do for this spelling strategy is draw a box around each of the letters, thinking carefully about the letters that are ascenders and descenders, and the ones that just sit between the line. Come and join me while I model this. It's my turn. I'm going to take you through how to do this at home. You'll need some squared paper, lined paper or plain paper, ideally plain, a pen or pencil or coloured pencil pencils, and something straight to draw along, and so a nice straight edge. If you've got a ruler at home, then use that. Now, I'm thinking really carefully about my spelling words. I'm going to do the word writer, as you can see there. So, looking at this word, I have got one, two, three, four, five letters in the word that are going to be normal size boxes, the boxes that sit between the two blue lines on our handwriting paper. The T is a teenager, so it's not an ascender, but it's slightly bigger than the letters that are here. So what I'm going to do is think about drawing my first three boxes that are the same size as each other, a T box that's slightly bigger, 
and the E and the R that are the same size as these, just looking at the shape of my letters. Once you've drawn the boxes, what you're going to do now is put the letters from our spelling word inside the boxes. So we've got W, R, I, T, E, R. Fantastic! Why not give us a go yourselves? Now that we've had a look at that together, it's now your turn. Here are your three chilli challenges. For chilli one, I would like you to draw spelling boxes around each of your spelling words. So if you're in red group, you'll have five to do. If you're in green group, you'll have seven to do. And if you're in blue group, you'll have nine words to do. For chilli two, can you draw boxes to somebody else? Can that person identify the correct spelling word from the shape of the boxes? And finally, for chilli three, true or false, these boxes are for the word wreckage. Pause the video now, year five. It's your turn. Okay, so that brings the end of the um, spelling part of the video. It's now time for our handwriting. So we're going to do a warm up together. Come and join me while I take you through some pass and thread on string and bunny hops. Okay, so for the first handwriting warm up today, we are going to start by getting some pieces of pasta if you've got them at home. If not, you can maybe find some beads, or you could always get some pieces of kitchen foil and sort of try and fold them and roll them into sort of little circles with a hole in the middle. And you need a piece of string or some sort of wool. And what I'd like you to do is to thread the piece of pasta onto the string or wool. Now, ideally, it'd be best to try and use your thumb and your forefinger, so your thumb and your first finger to grip both pieces. Now my wool's quite frayed, so you might find the same problem, that's gonna make it really tricky. And I've got to try and thread a piece of pasta, oh, there we go, onto the string. Now, to make this more challenging, what you could do is you could time a sibling, if you've got somebody at home or an adult, and you could see if in the time, say a minute, who could get the most amount of piece of pasta onto the string. Or you could challenge yourself and set yourself a minute and see if you can beat the amount of piece of pasta you get on the string every single time. Okay, you might also make it more challenging if you've got pasta with a smaller hole in than what I've got as well. Now, the second activity this morning that I'd like to show you is something called bunny hops. So you're going to need a pen or a pencil for this activity. You need to put the pen or pencil onto the table like so. And then what you need to do is with your two fingers, you're going to bunny hop over the top of the pencil or pen. Now, the idea is to go from the bottom all the way to the top and not to touch the pen or pencil. So, you need to try and see if you can get quicker and quicker at hopping over without touching the pen or pencil. Then swap back to the other hand. So now I'm going to try and do my left hand, which is not the hand I write with, but it might be the hand you write with at home. So, I'm going to hop over and back with that hand too. Now, if you want to make it more challenging, you can get two pens or pencils and you can try and do both hands at the same time. Now, what you've got to do is make sure that you're both on the inside and then the outside. So you've got to make sure that you're jumping and hopping at the same time over each other. Why not give that a go? Okay then, now that we're all warmed up, it's time to look at the letters that we focus on today. So whilst I know that lots of us already know how to form these letters correctly, it's really important that we practice them when we're doing our handwriting. So, the two robot arm letters that we're going to look at today are R and N. And the reason we're looking at these two letters is because they are the letters that come after our silent letters, the letters we can hear at the start of our words. Come and join me and I'll show you how to practice them. Okay, then year five. So, as you can see, there's my handwriting from yesterday. I'm going to take you through how we do an R and an N. Let's start with the R first. The R sits between the two blue lines. So, I'm going to start at the top of the blue line, go down to the bottom of the blue line, back up and I go over as you can see on the blue line it touches the blue line at the top and curls over. Let's try that again. I'm going to start at the top of the blue line, go down, back up and curl over when I get to the top of that blue line. Let's try once more. Down, back up and over. There's my arm. Could you now please have a go at doing that at home or in school? Okay, the next letter we're going to have a look at is an N. Again, the N sits between the two blue lines in our handwriting paper. So, I'm going to start just like the R, at the top of the blue line, I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom of the blue line, back up, over when I hit that top blue line, and back down to the bottom with a curve. You can see it's actually quite similar, just so I can continue this all the way down. Let's try that again. Down back up and over and once more from the top of the blue line down 
back up, curl when we hit the top, and over. Well, you did that at practice, either at home or in the bubble at school. Okay, now we're going to have a go at doing this in a couple of words. So, the first word we're going to do is wrinkle. That's with my R in it. So, I'm going to have a go using my knowledge of my W from yesterday to help me. It's going to start with the W, wrinkle. So, down, diagonally, up, up, into my R. So, down, up, over. Now, into an I. I'm not going to dot the I yet. Now, into my N. So, I'm actually going to use my N knowledge that I've just done as well. N. Then, into our K, which we did yesterday. All the way stuff, it's an ascender, curl it over, there we go. Now into our L, which is also an ascender. And then our E, which sits between the two lines. Fantastic. Now I'm going to dot my pen, pen or pencil off and dot the R. Okay. Why don't you give that one a go? Well done, brilliant work. Let's try the word knuckle together now. So that's going to start with our K, but our N is our second letter. Okay. So the K is an ascender. I'm going to come all the way down to the bottom of the blue line, back up, round, and curl it over. Then into our N. That's it. Into our U. Into the C. From the curly caterpillars you looked at. Back into the K. Into an L, ascender. And then into our E. Knuckle. Could you please give those spelling words a go, either at home, or in the bubble at school. Off you go, Year 5. Don't forget, Year 5, you can log on to Spelling Shed and practice your spelling lists. Go into More Lists and you'll be able to find the ones that say silent letters, as it shows on the screen here. You need to get practising, because our spelling test is on Friday the 29th of January. I can't wait to look at the leaderboard tomorrow to see how much has changed. And so that brings the end of today's lesson, Year 5. Thank you so much for joining me. I do hope some of the spelling strategies we've gone over today will help you to remember your spellings and that some of the handwriting warm-ups will have helped you with your handwriting and your joins today too. It's been so lovely to see all the work that was sent in from yesterday's lesson. There was some beautiful joined up handwriting following all the different strategies that we looked at yesterday with our K and our W. I'm hoping to see lots more sent into the Year 5 email address, so if you haven't already, make sure you send it in. Have a lovely rest of your afternoon and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!